Inter Miami is the story, right? Like, I mean, this they have been the story since the arrival of, of Messi and Busquets and Jordi Alba and Tata Martino, and they've done incredible things. But then there's the Houston Dynamo that have kind of just quietly been very, very good this season. And this is a team that knows this competition well. They won it back in 2018. Ben Olsen, the head coach, won the U.S. Open Cup as a player in 2008 for D.C. United, won it as a coach in 2013 for D.C. United. So well-versed in this. But look at the last seven results for both teams. Houston has been very positive. They're coming off that loss. But before that, not an L in sight. <laughs> Not an L in sight. Not an L in sight. Charlie, what have they been doing well? I know we, we talk a mm -hmm. lot about Hector Herrera and him having an, an MVP caliber season for the Houston Dynamo. But on top of that, what have they done? What has Ben Olsen done well in his first year in charge? Oh, Ben Olsen's a fantastic motivator. And, and I think throughout his, his young coaching career, that's what he relied on too heavily and not so much the tactics mm -hmm. part. And as he's grown, he, he took a, a step away from management. And coming back now under Pat Onstad at, at, with the Houston Dynamo, I think now he has a, a, a much better understanding on how to get the most out of your players, but at the same time, giving them some tactical nuances throughout the game. And you have Ache Ache in your team. And that midfield, Coco Karaskia, Ache Ache, Artur, you have a nucleus that, is, mm -hmm. that can stand up against any MLS team, which when you have a control of your midfield, you can win most games in Major League Soccer because you dictate the tempo, you keep the ball. And I think from Ben Olsen's standpoint, he's got them playing a great way. And Corey Baird, he's kind of got him going again. And they, they don't have an out-and-out -out striker. No. But because Corey Baird can run the channels, and if you control the ball, Ache Ache, Artur is kind of like you're more, he protects the back four, but Coca Karaskia and Ache Ache, one distribution, they can break through the midfield, and Corey Bear just runs the channel so well that running, they can open up anybody. Running the channels against Toto Aviles or running the channels against Kamal Miller, getting in behind when you have such a smart and cohesive midfield could be one of the openings. I don't know how high, I feel like the, the Inter Miami's back line is not as confident as they were a couple of weeks ago when everything was going so smoothly. I think there's been questions asked about their efficiency. So I don't know how high they'll be playing, but Corey Bear is going to have space. Hector Herrera and Coco Carrasqui is going to have space to put those balls in. And, and Kian and, Yonez is another Kian player yep. who gets a lot, who caused a lot of trouble. You saw last night Angulo from Orlando continuing to make runs in behind. He caused a lot of problems, but lacks the, the finished product and, mm -hmm. and and that's why I think he's playing at Orlando City and not at, at a big club in Europe because he's got a lot of, of quality but just sometimes doesn't ha lacks the composure mm. and I think Quinones is in the same kind of caliber but well, he's gonna he's gonna open up spaces and, and Yedlin plays so high I, I wonder now with um, Kristoff's health because he came off injured mm -hmm. last night in, in the game for Inter Miami. I wonder if Inter Miami is going to play a back two or a back three that permits Alba to get very high, DeAndre Yedlin to get very high. Um, and that space in behind Yedlin, we've seen that like, Inter Miami defends narrow and they leave that space in where, where DeAndre Yedlin's back is, right? That's where Angulo ended up getting in behind. They play that pass. Often, and, and there was, it's not going to be Allen on a left back or left wing back. There's going to be Jordi Alba, we imagine, but that was, that's, what this, that's the space where the Orlando City equalizer came mm -hmm. in. And there, there's not organization. When Sailor came in, he, he lacks uh, pace. And like, I he, doubt it's going to be Nico. Aviles, Sailor, Miller. No. The big question, I mean, Messi's <laughs> no. playing, right? Given the nature of how everything has progressed, I would imagine that yeah. Messi's going to play. Right? I would imagine I would so imagine. Too. I would imagine. From it's start. a final. Yeah. It's from a the, final. This is a chance a final. to win their second trophy of the season, Even, which is they, incredible. If they win the second trophy of the season, 
they don't even have to make playoffs. No. This no. is success. They don't 100%. have to be success. But you know they want to. No. They're right. going to do everything sure. they can to make sure. Two pieces and it's of very possible. In a season, that's still, they, I, you still considering feel. Considering where they're at, no. Because they have an opportunity to make the playoffs, you still feel that they is a need success. To. And they, yeah, and but they, it was a long shot. They're not going to. Yeah. They're not going to. It's not a long shot it. anymore, given the points. Everyone Correct. keeps losing in but front of them. But from the outset, 